This space is a little patch of green that Sydney Road desperately needed. By the time that we'd finished the eight week trial, we saw that crime statistics in the area had gone down a little bit. Um, and we also saw the local businesses really turning around on their attitude towards this project and being really positive and receptive to it. We had uh, a petition with 600 people had signed for a climbing wall in Brunswick. And we just thought, okay, look, well, let's, let's do what we're hearing. Let's see if we can fit it in this public space here and let's, let's explore that idea further. We pitched it to the Department of Justice. They thought it was a fantastic idea and they've supported it to the tune of $210,000. This was Brunswick's number one crime hotspot. So this is actually a safety project. This is an excellent example of turning um, a misused public space into something positive that the community can engage with um, and turn into a safer, happier space. Well, the new park has made it more um, family friendly. Um, pe people getting outdoors and stuff, being a bit more active in the area. So I think it's really, really good because it is, it is a, a thoroughfare. It's the beginning of Brunswick. There's a train station that you can now walk straight from. So I think it really does kind of create a little central hub. So what we're hoping it will mean is that it will activate the space, it will get people to positively associate this space with their community, to engage with it, and hopefully that will lead to a reduction in the crime rate um, and people using this space in a positive way. This is a new start for the Jewel Precinct and the first step in a broader program of positive change in this area.